Hello guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So in this video tutorial, I will explain you a bit about the logic or gate within the Tinker gate. First, we must know that what is the IC package we are using for to make an OR gate within the Tinker gate. So first we will write 74HC32 and this one is our IC package for the quad OR gates. And what is meant by quad? Quad simply means 4 means that it used to provide us the four OR gates within the single package okay now this is our IC module in front of us okay now you can see that it is in the form of PIP package like on both sides you can see the pinouts and there are around 14 pinouts there so uh, on the top right it is the power pin and the left bottom it is the ground pin so first we will make some power supply for this IC because it usually operates on 5 volts and we have to make a small power supply for it so we have taken one 9 volt battery And we cannot operate directly the IC on 9 volts, so we will take LM7805 voltage regulator. So there are three pins in this regulator input, ground, and output. Out of the 5 volt will be connected to the power pin of the IC. On input, you have to connect it with the positive of the 9 volt battery. So what it simply do is to convert the 9 volt of the battery to the 5 volt, and then will be it will be provided to the IC. So negative and must be connected with the ground of the IC, and ground of the our quad package must be connected with the ground of the voltage regulator that is 7805 okay now we will after uh, completing the power circuit we must know that what an OR gate is OR gate simply means that there must be like two inputs uh, for simple OR gates it, it has two inputs and one output so when it is zero zero on both inputs then the output is zero and if there is one one or zero one or one zero on the input then the output must be one like there are four cases the first one is zero zero then zero one then one zero and then one one so for zero zero simply means that when both of the inputs are low then the output must be low or zero when any of the input i either first or second input is high the output must be high and when both are high then still the output is high so we will see that either it is going to work or not so for output we we need an led and as our LED cannot tolerate 5 volts directly from the battery, so we will add one, one carbon film resistor, or simply you can say that it is quarter watt resistor, and its value must be around 100 ohm or 220 ohm. You can choose any one. Anode of the LED, that is the positive side of the LED, must be connected with the output one of the IC because it is the output one of the first OR gate there are four outputs like uh, here out out two then out four and out three and all these so 
we will just simulate the first one okay now we will take our dip switches now it is dpst means that dual pole single throw switch simply it is a type of light switch so we need to take okay now we will attach the top terminals of the ic of the dip switches with the output like this one and we will connect like that this one okay now the top ends are connected to the 5 volt from the voltage regulator now the outputs of these dip switches must be connected with that of input 1a and like this okay so okay now what will happen that when both the switches are on the output must be high when one of the switches high or one are simply on still the led will be at one or or like uh, will be lighter however when both of the switches are low or off then led is not going to light up or give any sort of logical one in digital logic design actually the 5 volt uh, voltages are considered as the uh, 1 and ground uh, is considered as the 0 so uh, we will start our simulation here we see that when both of the gates are or when both of the switches are off then the led is off it means that when both are 0 0 the output is zero when any of them is one we can see that led is on when the second is on the led wait we okay wait 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 we have to connect it with the, this one okay yeah so when, when when it will become on then led is on and when both of them will become high it will show still on so now again we will do it it for trial purpose so it is at zero zero the output is zero or led is off when the first when the second one is one we can say that it is zero and one then the led is on when we will make first high and second low that is one zero still the led is on and when we will make both of them high or 1 1 then the led is on it means that for three cases it is on and for one case that is for 0 0 it is off and that is the logic behind the or gate so hopefully you got the concept and now you can try it in your tinkercad platform so thanks for visiting our channel